Hey what's going on guys so welcome back to another topic so in this video I'm going to explain to you about how we can cover up the forms module right and in this video I'm going to explain to you how we can submit the form by passing the function uh, the event and uh, I'm using the bootstrap as a form and inside my source uh, with the app.company.html everything that you see is just a basic name and the email right so I'm going to wrap up my text so you can see properly so I passed up here the two-way data binding, which is the ng model email and passed up the name, right? So I can also pass one more field here, which is phone, right? So let's bring up here phone. So this should be phone and uh, give it the phone as well. And uh, sorry, it should be a type of text and bring here phone. And same case for uh, the ng model. So now we have all the fields, right? So inside my app.company.ts, so I'm gonna remove that. That's what we have uh, we did before. But now here I'm gonna, uh, what I'm gonna do is that once we put uh, pass here name, email, and the phone, so we can uh, see our values inside the browser, right? So it's not gonna save because we are not using any database uh, so you it, it can't be saved but you can see how we can push the inside the array right so i'm going to do here is just to put some sort of uh, the first i want to pass up here the array for an object uh, but i don't need that for now uh, so let's bring here the name again so name string which is empty and let's put here name of, uh, let, just I want to push up the name, right? So that's fine for now. I can only push up the name here and let's use here as the array, which is the users and which is of type string and uh, which is an array, right? So it is a, it is a collection of more than one ream. Uh, so I'm gonna pass some values inside the array, right? Let's suppose it's John, Adam, and Chris, right? So I have three names here and I, if I want to loop it inside the form, all I'm gonna do here is to create a list group item, which is a bootstrap class. And I need to bring up here the submit button as well. So input type of input type equal to submit. And I pass up here a value of submit and give it the uh, bootstrap class btn btn dash primary right so i bring up here a form and this should be dash okay so we have our bootstrap class installed we have our ng model included and i need to submit the form so i need to have here an event uh, which is a submit event so i pass here submit equal to a name of the function which i place here on submit right so I just gonna create a function inside my app.component.ts file. So let's bring up here and uh, because we have inside my app.component.html. So what I'm gonna do here is let's put here console.log and bring here this dot name. So let's suppose if I type here my title uh, which is John and submits that you see that whatever I type here we can see on our console so now it's gonna uh, we can submit the action using the uh, on submit right so we can call the function from the component TypeScript file next whatever I want to type here it's gonna show up down to this here so let's bring here the the UL class of uh, list dash group it should be ul dot right so ul dot list dash group inside we want the list group item right so inside the list group item i'm going to display my name and i'm going to use here another directive which is ng4 for, for my loop so let's bring here let user of users and inside that I've used string interpolation and inside string interpolation all I need to put here user right so 
even I can type here email if I want to have here it's all up to you what are you whatever you're gonna show up here so let's here put here John and it should be email so let's bring here John at the rate gmail.com and submits that so this is uh, the reason why you use here you see that it's gonna show me uh, the email which I actually don't need for now let's bring up here um, because we need to push the array inside the array so this is dot um, the name of the array which is this dot users dot push and I need to push up only the name at once so this dot name right so let's bring here John whatever the email we're not gonna show email for now and let's bring here and submits that there you see now we can push up the name right so it's very simple in array that we can uh, as long as I can add up here it's gonna it's gonna add up inside the list group item and once I'm gonna refresh this and it all is removed because we are not using database and no any persistent database so that's how we can submit the form so I hope you guys will understand something out of it and in the next video I'm gonna explain to you about the form validations and the ng module ng form module right so that's for now and thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe and like my channel so that's it for now